New research has come out showing that women are more likely to survive a heart attack if they're treated by a female physician. This comes from a study looking at over half a million heart attack cases over the course of 20 years in Florida. And it turns out if you're a woman and you think you're having a heart attack, you can improve your chances of survival by 5.4% by seeing a female physician instead of a male. At this point, if you're a man on the internet, you're probably asking the question, but what about the men? I'm so glad you asked, Donnie. Uh, The study showed that men also had a better chance of surviving a heart attack if they're seen by a female physician, just not as drastic an improvement as the female patients saw. But what about the male doctors? You probably also want to know because it's all about men. Uh, The study also showed that male doctors were much more competent if they had increased exposure to both female patients and other female physicians, not as competent as the female physician's of course, but it's something. All of this is particularly galling when you realize that another recent study showed that male doctors make about $100,000 more every year than female doctors. Men make twice as much money, but kill more patients. But don't worry, I'm assured by many Donnies on the internet that sexism is definitely a thing of the past. Nope, nothing to see here, just normal egalitarian society. So why do female physicians do so much better than male physicians when a woman is having a heart attack? Well, it might be due to several complicated factors. For one, women and men may experience slightly different symptoms when they're having a heart attack. Women are more likely to experience lesser known symptoms like nausea and dizziness. Uh, But even for well-known symptoms like chest pain and arm numbness, women are much more likely to brush it off as being just their imagination. Women tend to wait much longer than men to seek medical treatment, which can mean the difference between life or death. So how might female doctors make up for this disparity? Well, they might be more likely to know that women respond differently to heart attacks and be more alert for those red flags. They might be more likely to notice rarer symptoms or to be able to tell when a woman is downplaying the severity of her condition. Female doctors might be more likely to have the personal experience that many women have of not being taken seriously by doctors, and so they might be able to act more quickly and decisively in those situations. The moral of the story here is it's not simple, unfortunately. We can't fix things just by telling women and men to only go see female doctors, though maybe that's a good start. Uh, Ultimately, we as a society just need to be better at validating women's experiences with our own bodies. We need to take women seriously when something is wrong, and only then can we expect them to take it seriously themselves.